Hey my lovelies, welcome back to my channel. I am Diba Messi. in case you don't already know. And today's video I'm going to be reviewing this wig I got from Sheen. Alright, so if you want to see if this wig is what's the price point and my review and thoughts on it, then make sure to keep on watching. Love you. Mwah. <laughs> So my lovelies, I'm going straight in to show you the packaging this wig comes in and it's actually really cute. So this wig is a 4x4 closure wig. It's 18 inches and it's 180% density. Okay, that's such a mouthful, but you get the gist. So this is what it looks like straight out of the box. I actually like this wig, the way it's formulated. This is the construction of the inside and I think it's really neat if you ask me. It has four combs, it has an elastic band which makes it do less. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead Ahead to bleach this knot this is me bleaching it the first time i went ahead to bleach this week twice because this um this bleach i'm doing now did not actually lift the color off at all i'm using a 20 volume developer here but i actually went ahead of camera to use a 40 volume developer again to lighten the knots to actually get it the way i wanted because the 20 volume developer i left it for an hour and I would say it did not do much at all in lifting those knots. So I went ahead again with a 40 volume developer off camera. I'm just stating that. So I think you need a higher volume developer if you're going to bleach the knots of this wig because 20 volume developer just wasn't cutting it. All right. So I went ahead to, you know, use my purple shampoo to kind of, you know, tone it. Then I went ahead to shampoo and condition because guys, you do not want to wear a wig come straight from the company and just wear it like that first of all some of them have smells and there's a likelihood that you might react to something so i always make sure my wigs are washed all right so after i was done bleaching the knots off camera i went ahead to dye it i'm going to be using the blue black dye from my door and the um, jet black all right so i'm going to go ahead and protect my canvas head with a dustbin nylon and then just go ahead to dye it black okay so i went ahead to mix those two dyes and i'm dyeing it left for me i should have used a rich i think it's called a rich dye actually because i feel this adult dye did not actually the wig did not take the adult dye in very well i actually went ahead to leave this for like 12 hours and it still wasn't it wasn't giving some parts of the wig wasn't giving as much as it should it didn't really take it in i think if it was the rich dye it should have taken it much better if you get what i mean all right so i'm just gonna go ahead to gently brush the dye when it comes to the closure part because you do not want that dye to run into the closure okay you want to take it just brush it in slowly take your time when you're doing once it comes to the closure and the front i just want to take your time and make sure it doesn't drop on the um what's it called on the lace because if it drops on the lace it will likely stain your lace okay so you want to make sure you're avoiding that So my love, this is what the wig looks like once we're done dyeing it. And this is what it looks like once we're done washing it off. And you can see why I said it didn't really take on the color. Obviously, it's way darker, but some parts are still like lighter than like i'm showing you some parts are light some parts are not as dark as it should be so i just feel it didn't really take on that adult dye very well okay so now i'm going to be using this beautiful beautiful heat protectant spray and then i'm just going to go ahead and you know style the wig a little bit so i'm plucking it i went ahead to pluck it to style it i actually went ahead to also pink coil it because i just wanted that um bounce bounce curls okay so you let me know how you think this wig held up but i'm just going to go ahead first of all to pluck out the black knots some of the knots that did not bleach as well i'm going to go ahead and cut it out pluck it out then i'm going to go ahead to pluck as usual i actually went ahead to pluck this very light because i pluck light because mostly i do not do baby hairs so i pluck very lightly that's just my own preference whatever works for you but you can see the difference between the side pluck and the side not plucked okay so i just plucked very lightly so my love once i was done plucking i just went ahead to give it 
some bits of styling then i went ahead to cut off some inch at the bottom because that's just what i was going for i cut off some inch and then i went ahead to do some layering which i'm pretty bad at to be honest with you but i just wanted to do some you know razzle dazzle uh what's it called just something little 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 nothing serious okay so do not come for my layering skills i'm still learning but i think like i get the hang of it like i do not do too much i don't go crazy on my scissors i just do do it as it comes okay so this is what it's looking like and honestly i think this is so pretty i just wanted it to have a bit of volume with the layering okay so and i think it looks so pretty like this i think even wearing it straight wouldn't be so bad like just straight with a little bit of curls so off camera i went ahead to curl this wig and now i'm going to go ahead to install it so my lovelies now we're going to go ahead to install this wig and i'm actually super excited to see how it's going to turn out so nothing major i'm just going to go ahead to install it like i would normally do to any other wig just go ahead to like use an alcohol to clean up the build up of product then i'm going to go ahead and just brush my hair back with a head control and then wear my wig cap for protection basically and then this is the hair pink world all right this is the hair pink world i'm going to go ahead to you know use my ebbing wonderless spray and just like this is where i saw that the wig is actually tied i'm just putting it on for the first time and guys this wig is tied i think that's like a disadvantage in ordering from sheen because they do not have at least for this particular wig they do not have a place where you can pick your your head size okay the circumference of your head which most wig apps do most wig websites they actually have that option but for sheen that option is not available so just have that at the back of your mind so i think this wig is like a 22 inch and normally my head size is like a 20 three twenty three and a half twenty three so yeah so it was a bit tight so i could not pull it forward so the, my hairline i had to take it it was a little bit further than i would put my wig normally but that's not bad at all i think it wasn't so bad but like i would have just loved if it wasn't as tight you can literally see me struggling to have it come forward a little bit so i'm gonna go ahead use my ebbing wonderless spray like i was saying and just have it down nothing serious nothing major i'm actually not laying it down laying it down and this week is a glueless week but i just wanted to see how the lace would lay okay i wanted to see how that lace would function basically and i would say it was pretty good for me not to actually install it like install it but it still was laying flat i would say the lace is not that bad honestly it doesn't actually like dissolve or melt into your skin but like it's actually fair enough okay So my loves, now we have the curls down. I took off the pins and I have it down. And then I'm just looking at the wig and I'm like, okay, this is not my perfect side part. I don't know, it just, it just wasn't fitting my face frame. And I was like, okay, let me try the other side because I don't think this side fits me. Let me know what you think in the comment section. But immediately I took the, the parts of the wig to the other side. It just kind of looked more flawless for me. So I just knew I had to change the pattern of the wig and i just went ahead to kind of correct that so let me know in the comment section which side you think fits me more do you think it's this side or the other side left or right let me know in the comment section down below So my lovely this is what the wig is giving now we've changed the pattern of the wig and baby i actually think it looks so good the the strands of this wig is actually like it looks so lush do let me know if you think the same i actually think it looks so lush but for the price point of this wig i do not think it's worth it to be honest to pay 94 dollars or 96 i think for this particular wig i do not think i think they are more like they are 
Right? It's too, it's too, it's too.